Hey, this is Trolls from ATO, and in this video, I'm going to share our ATO Acoustic Guitar Soloist. We actually have two different versions of this library. We have the Soloist Edition here, and then we have a Strum Edition as well, which I'm demonstrating in a separate video. Um, the idea is really to have a multi-sample version here, and then have a Strum Edition, which contains true strums. There's so many libraries trying to do MIDI strumming and so forth, and they don't quite really work. So what we did with the Strum Edition was to do over 4,100 different actual strum samples with 13 different chords, 13 different rhythms that can be completely uh, mingled and masked and morphed um, in real time as well. But check out the other video for that. In this one, I'm gonna focus here on a multi-sample version. And as you can see here, we actually have 15 chord patches built into it. We have what we call flat, which means it's without vibrato. And then we have vibrato here, and then we have morph patches where we're combining the nylon guitar with other instruments as well. And if you look down here, we got our fret controls. And with these, you can control the volume of the frets and you can control the amount, like how frequently you want the different frets. That would be all the noises from the fingers going on the strings. We also have a release trigger here. And I actually prefer to set it up a little bit around two, three o'clock. Um, so you get a little more of the detachment of the string when the finger lets go. And when you start playing faster, it gives a more realistic sound. We also have strum detection, which is one of the new features we've added. And then we have a dampener as well, if you want to use that too. Um, but without further ado, let me just play around with it here. It's incredibly easy to play and it's just right off the keys. So um, I'm just going to do a couple of different improvisations and uh, just check it out. It's so easy to play and really gratifying and has a natural feel on the keys. And a really great tip, um, I've heard a lot of MIDI guitars and demos and so forth. Um, people often play guitars and keyboards like their keyboard and they forget that natural strum fashion. So when you play it on the keys, always try to have that so you'll naturally go like. So, you know, I have that natural that really gives a more natural sensation of the instrument. If you ever play the guitar, you're going to realize your fingers go up and down. You can't click them all the same. So you can, if you play it in like a piano like fashion. It, it just doesn't sound real, but whereas you go, uh, you get a more of that natural uh, strumming in it. So uh, let me try to um, exemplify that a little more. Let me just stay here with the natural patch and uh, uh, let me play a little bit with the pitch bender, which is also a really a part of mimicking the guitar the right way. So uh, let me try something a little bluesy or something. This one you could really hear both the fret noises and the releases letting go of the fingers all the little whoop, squeaks uh, in between they help they help make it real as well another thing this uh, guitar is good for is actually more the sort of spanish um I, i'm not really a flamingo-ish uh, player but uh, let me just try to do a little bit of the spanish and then afterwards uh, let's also try to play a little around with the percussive elements we actually added a variety of uh, round robin based and um, percussive elements so you can sort of do more of that you know play on the body of the guitar while playing at the same time so um, yeah check it out Yeah, so much for my flamingo skills. Let me uh, let me try to um, to play a little bit here um, with the percussive elements as well, and add a little bit of guitar on top of it. So you get the feeling you get all these percussive elements here. Uh, and they're just cool for accentuating that more percussive element of the guitar. So it become more popular uh, amongst um, new guitar players to use the instrument as a percussive instrument on top of the normal playing styles. Uh, let me try here with the Cathedral. This is a really reverby version of the uh, nylon guitar here. It's really great. It has a fat, fat bass in it.
And that was actually a good example of the fret noises. Obviously, they're better for faster playing styles. So with this one, I would certainly have dialed down the amount and probably the volume uh, all the way down to just a, when you get into the more sort of synthetic type sounding guitars, they're almost more distracting. So they're best for like um, natural acoustic uh, use. Uh, let me try the white double here. This is actually more, um, it gives you more feeling of a really wide pair of guitars playing side by side. has a like great chorus -y kind of quality. The Piccolini here is cool. Um, it's a much more sort of uptight version. It sounds a little more like a Gita Lili or a Sarango, uh, sort of that more tight kind of guitar sound. <laughs> Let's try the infinite here as well. Let me just dial the fret controls totally down this one. Um, it's just big and long. Let's move on here to the vibrato patch. So this is uh, the same thing as the flat, but there's natural vibrato. Let me just play a few things here and I'll just let the chord hang a little bit so you can hear the, the natural vibrato of all the strings. And these are real vibratos. We actually recorded them string by string and velocity layers and all that stuff with vibrato. It's just one of those things I, you can't mimic really um, using CC controls. And just like I mentioned in the beginning, the strum edition of this library as well is real strums. They're actual real performed strumming rhythms, strumming chords, all that. It just sounds better. Let me try to go a couple of patches down here. Let's try just to uh, reverse the entire thing. Let me also demonstrate some of our morph patches here. This is using the both the flat and the vibrato patch uh, in the different ones here, but combining them with other instruments from the ADO catalog and some custom stuff as well. Um, so you really get sort of more wide profile of the instrument. It's not just an island guitar. You actually have both the reverse, the infinite, uh, the tighter versions, the double versions, you know, with and without vibrato. And it's really the concept for uh, our natural acoustic series here to, to take the instrument, but to bend it, make it a little more, I wouldn't say hybrid, because we're trying to stay somewhat faithful to the natural instrument but you know expand a little upon it and find other textures that belong with the instrument as well So you know, you can just do a lot of different things, but where it gets really interesting, uh, let me just try to go back here to the first patch we played here, but is to go into our chaos effects and then just start mangling around. I'm gonna play and hold down some chords and then I'll start adding effect to it in real time and we'll see where we land. Uh, there's an enormous amount of stuff you can do uh, using our arpeggiator, filters, EQ, um, bit crusher, distortion, trans gates, delays down here. We have a stereo delay and then two different types of reverbs as well, both using traditional convolution and more alternative convolution pulses that you can mix together. So uh, yeah, let me just uh, go at it here. We'll see what happens. Mm -hmm. 